Hey, what's up everybody? Pat Flynn here. Thank you for watching episode 37 of SPI TV. Happy New Year. And I couldn't be more excited because we have a lot of great stuff in store for you this year, not just for SPI TV, but for all of Smart Passive Income. We have a lot of big things planned. I'm gonna share those things with you in just a second. So watch the intro and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, first up, the biggest thing I have planned, something I've been working on for over a year now, and especially these last few months, is the launch of my upcoming book, Will It Fly? How to Test Your Next Business Idea So You Don't Waste Your Time and Money. And I couldn't be more excited and also more nervous because I put a lot of heart and effort into this and uh, I just want it to be great for you. So I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you. If you want to get more information about the book, go to willitflybook.com. Dot com. Now, what is this book really about? Well, it's about validating your business ideas. How do you know that that idea you have in your head is actually one worth pursuing? Is it going to work out or not? But it's done in two different ways. One, it's how does that product or business fit into the market you're trying to get into? So there's a lot of market research and validation, and you could potentially even get paid for your idea before you actually launch to make sure that it's something worth pursuing. But beyond that, and more important, I feel, is how does that business or idea fit into who you are? your goals, your lifestyle, does it complement your strengths or not? So there's a lot of cool little thought experiments and exercises to help you get through that. So again, I'm really excited to share this with you. This idea of validation isn't completely new. It's been talked about before. My One of my men, unofficial mentors, I guess you could say, Tim Ferriss, wrote about microtesting in a chapter called Testing the Muse in the Four Hour Workweek, one of my all-time favorite books. And uh, that was a small chapter, but it got a lot of big, big responses because people love the idea of testing their idea before actually putting it out there into the world. And so this book goes a lot deeper into that. And I'm, again, so excited to share it with, uh, share it with you. We have a launch team that has uh, read it already and is going through it and has left amazing comments. So I look forward to, again, sharing with you. Again, that's willitflybook.com, launching February 1st. Okay, next up in the year that you have to look forward to after the book launch is the redesign of Smart Passive Income Dot com. That's right, we are totally overhauling the design, making it better for you. Now, I'm going to talk about why we're doing that in a second, but a lot of you might be thinking, well, why would you do that? Because it's not really broken, and in a way, it's been doing very well. However, after the survey I did last July, I realized that the site wasn't doing a great job of serving you. And a great way to share this example is on the homepage. Currently, you have the latest blog post and the latest podcast episode. And that's it, you have to keep clicking to find other things and how do you know what's right for you? There are over a thousand pieces of content on the site and a lot of that stuff doesn't get shown even though I spend a lot of time and effort to write those things and, and help you out with them, they're just not being found. So one of the big principles moving forward with the redesign is how to get older content that is useful in front of your face. But beyond that, the second part of it is how do we personalize that content for you and your part of your journey? So you're actually gonna see some integration of personalization on the site, which means that through different actions that you take, through different articles that you read, through different downloads, depending on what email list you're on, for example, you're actually gonna see different kinds of content on the website that's relevant to you. One of the big comments you shared with me was that it's a little overwhelming. Even though the homepage has done a better job of uh, being less overwhelming in terms of choices, it's not always easy to find what's next for you. So the team has done a really good job of designing it in a way that helps you through your journey and only showing you what you need to know. For example, if you are a complete beginner, you don't need to see the advanced SEO guide, for example. Or if you are more in the advanced realm of building your online business, then you might not need any of the beginning stuff. So things like that are gonna be uh, integrated into the website, not just with content, but also resources and interviews and podcast episodes, episodes of SPI TV, all that sort of stuff. It's gonna be really, really cool. We're using a tool called Optimizely to help with the personalization to allow the site to keep track of where you're at and what you've done. So I'm really excited about that. There's also a lot of higher quality, more, I guess you could say garnish on the website too that's just gonna help it stand out from the crowd. You know, I want it to be the best, most well-designed website in this space. There's a lot of people in this space and I want it to be the best and uh, we're putting a lot of, of resources and effort into it, and, and, and I hope you like it. So look out for that in around the March or April time. We don't know exactly what the timeline is, but it's gonna be in the beginning part of the year, and uh, it's gonna be really cool. I, I, I don't wanna reveal too much about it, but uh, it's coming, and I think you're gonna like it.
Okay, and finally, the last thing I wanna share with you that's coming this year that you have to look forward to is my first standalone course. Now, this is gonna come off the book. People who go through the book, this will be perfect for them. And the book is, uh, as I mentioned before, coming out February 1st. So the timeline for this is sort of mid-year. And it's a course that is going to help people who are just starting out. So no, it's not for everybody, and your courses shouldn't be for everybody either. Now, I'm really excited about this because I've done courses before, but this is my first standalone course with very specific goals. And I think that's kind of the, the I guess, progression for SPI moving forward with these courses. And I'm excited about it for, for a few reasons. One, because it's a very specific goal for people who purchase this course. I'm, I'm not even really gonna share everything that it's about uh, because it's still being worked on and tweaked and I'm still taking survey information, getting information from people who are reading the book and that sort of thing. And uh, you know, again, using the principles in the book to actually validate this course, but it is coming. And I'm excited because it is something that is going to help a lot of people and it's very clear what that goal is. That was the issue I had with a previous course that I came out with called Breakthrough Blogging, where I had about 400 people come in in a beta group during a launch period, and it was great, it was amazing, I had a forum, and it was very much like those communities that you see nowadays that come out with content all the time, and it's a recurring payment to be a part of them, sort of like Internet Business Mastery, Fizzle.co, Upreneur, and th those are great. I thought that was the model for me, but after doing that, it essentially validated that that was not anything that I was actually uh, super motivated by it. I found it to be very difficult to keep up with content. I felt like I just had to continually add stuff and it wasn't always the best quality stuff because it was just hard to keep up and the forum started to die out. It just didn't feel right and mainly because how does somebody know who is in that that they're doing what they should be doing? You know, what's what's the goal? Well, how do you know that you're getting what you paid for? Uh, it, it was it was very difficult for me to, to get over that um, and, and realize that it wasn't the way, right way to do it. And so I actually two years later after that course came out, uh, and I know this is crazy, but I offered a refund to everybody who took that course. And, and a lot of people did take me up on that. And I'm thankful for that because it just didn't feel right to me. There was something on the inside of me that was like, that wasn't, that's not the way to do it. So I'm really excited moving forward because I've pivoted and there's these one-off courses that are coming out that are gonna help you with a specific solution. And I love that because if you don't get that goal, then it didn't work for you. It's very clear, you shouldn't have to pay for it. Of course, I'm gonna make sure those things work if you do do the work. I did say do-do, and uh, I always do that because there's an episode of Friends where Chandler says that. Anyway, getting off topic here. Uh, but uh, again, I'm really excited about that. I'm also excited because now this means I'm building products for SPI. A lot of you know I have these income reports that come out, and a majority of my income comes from affiliate marketing, which means I earn a commission by recommending other people's or other companies' products, which is great, but at any moment in time, those affiliate relationships could sever, could die, could go away for whatever reason. And it's very scary. It's very, very scary to build a business off of somebody else's business. And so it's time to start creating my own assets, stuff that I can control, not just in terms of generating income, but the user experience through my brand. This is gonna enhance the brand, and I'm really, really excited to share that with you. And of course, you'll see more information about that in the upcoming months. But until then, I just wanna say thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching SPI TV. And I cannot wait to serve you this year with all the things coming, everything I mentioned, and more. So again, make sure to come back to smartpassiveincome.com. Subscribe to SPI TV if you haven't already. And uh, let's make 2016 awesome. Here we go.